Hey, I'm Kev Kev, must come welcome back to MotoGP20. Uh, it's Kev Stone doing some practice, around the Tomas de Riondo circuit in Argentina. As you can see, he's doing the distance analysis, and why am I showing you practice once again? Well, big patch has come out. It's done a few things. It's updated deliveries for the 2020 for the MotoGP class, improved the physics for the MotoGP class. But more importantly for us, Panic's fixed the anti wheelie issue. So we'll see how it goes around it. We'll just stir that. And see if it has. Uh, this is a pretty slow first sector. So, so far, so good. Yeah, it doesn't seem too bad at the moment. Can easily hold it flat. Not great coming out of corners, though, are we? I go a poor first set, but since then we're just about holding on to the bike. Oh, it just failed, but no really issues. At least it didn't look like we had any really issues, so we were a couple of tenths slower than the threshold, but that's good to see. We might actually be all right around this. You saw, apart from the first sector, we were competitive in all the other sectors, so that's looking good. Hopefully for practice to make it through the qualifying too. So at the top is Bezeki ahead of teammate Marini. Sky Racing Team VR4 is exciting off the season with a bang, but look at Stone back on form in third. So the anti really fix definitely works. But go for that. We might actually enjoy Moto2 now. Also, for some reason, the patch notes are different on the website, the MotoGP20 website, to Steam. So some of the changes that I don't add, for some reason on the website they say it's just MotoGP specific, but on Steam they say it could apply to everything, like big old vibration feeling as well. And if I actually take a look at the website as well, I believe there are other fixes they mentioned. So they are daily fits of my GP class, but it says just physics updates in general on the Steam website too, especially like the feedback under the braking and yeah, just the way the bike behaves. So I don't understand if that's come to Moto2, but the bike feels exactly the same as it did in Austin, apart from, of course, the anti wheelie issue. I wish it was fixed before Austin, but fortunately, we just have to put up that race. As uh, so we've got Nakashima in fourth, Schwarzer in fifth, Della Portia, Gardner, Baldessari, Lowe's, Bashini, Luti, Bulliger, Ben Snyder, and Navarro. So stand the best speed up by a country mile ahead of DJ Antonio and Kanet as well, and Surin. Uh, so we're joining the top three in qualifying too. It'll be Fernandez, Kanet, Andy, and Kazma as well. So here goes Stones for is qualifying up. Got a tricky corner to accelerate out of. And we found in practice we'll kind of then the first set to second set to third set to fourth set to. But our best set to by a mile was the third set to. And it was this set to if we nailed the right hand onto the back straight. Which is very difficult to spot. Can you see the apex? No, there it is. That's how that what determines how good we are on the first set to that right hander, which you can't really see with the lighting, but I said we got it. Uh, it's all very wide stone. That's the Australia Glitz set. They rub. Paint work. What are you doing, Australia Galizia? Gonna have to back off. I've no idea what that bike is doing. 
So we go take two. Hopefully that's not a destroy glitzer bike in front. Doesn't look like it. As uh, we start beginning the lap then. So we got two possible laps here if we need it. So the first set to all right at. Very tricky to accelerate out. That first corner. There you go, definitely now the apex there. And a tenth up in the first set to see. That corner really does depend how good you are. The second set to all. Okay up, but we're not the best into the hairpin. As you've already seen. You can see massive stoppy as well. We just don't build the revs up enough. We change gears, so we drop the revs too much of it. But this is our set to this third set to So go through the right and then down just the fourth gear here because you still get a bit of a wheelie over that rise you have it in third and look at that half a second up as burger sets for 40.2 times much quicker than practice aren't they as what how, how is that entering bit lane That's a cross line, 40.1 from Stone, he's quickest. And it's Paul for Stone by a 10th head of Bullock and Bowder Zari. Upsetting the Italian party there on the front row. And then we've got Shirota ahead of Luton Gardner. Then it's Bastiani, Fernandez, and Canet. Next best speed up ahead of for a Countryman Navarro. He's ahead of Andy and Marini down in 12th. Then we've got Nakashima Lowe's and Ben Snyder. And then on the sit throw, Bezeki, Della Porter, and Kazma Yudin. So, tyre wise, we did soft medium in practice for the race. That's how we set our fastest up as well in practice. But the medium tyres wore quite a lot. The soft tyres wear quite a lot as well. Temperatures are quite low for medium, a bit high for softs. Could we get away with soft medium in the race, or is it better to go medium, medium? Should we go safe and go medium, medium for the race? Not that medium tire, I want a new medium tire on the rear. That would have been a disaster, wouldn't it? And we put a touch of fuel in. Just because of the straights, we'll probably use power two down that back straight. At the beginning of the second sector. We'll see what everyone else has chosen. Medium, medium, yeah. We've got the majority. Medium soft for Luti, soft for medium for Garda, medium soft for Fernandez. Soft medium for Navarro, medium soft for Marina. There's quite a few speed ups going in a bit of the opposite direction, but everyone pretty solid. No hard ties with insight apart from Manzi on the MV Augusta, of course. Of certainly Apple Cart. Medium hard for Roberts, hard medium for Rafi. Does he want to go for a corner? So here's Stone revving up from pole as we get underway. Well, hey, that's here around the Tomas de Rio Hondo circuit in Argentina. And Stone, reading all the way to the first corner. Is that a first corner lead? As, oh, Baldur's Army down on his ponds. Stone just holds on at the front. That will not help the exit out of that corner. Let's head toward the back straight. He's in all the exit codes. They're reporting the top 10 of those. Short of David, Ben Snide on the NTS flying as Remy Gardner's coming. For the lead is the Australian. The stone blocks the inside. He's got Kinect in 19 back with Navarro, he's down the 20th. Michael Bezeki up to 11th. So stone. Don't need to keep stopping, mate. It's got the team seventh. Battling hard. Those into the top five of the Burger. 
These are now battling for ninth with Ben Snyder. My God, it is wild behind. Stone just holding off Gardner or not. Interesting line there. Not sure you're meant to use the grass though. As it's Marini leading, Gardner behind. We've got those, and we've got the... Is that the Malaysian in the top five? Uh, it's all shorter down. Oh, Marcel. Copping what he did in Qatar, and Verge's down as well. And it's Petronas Spirita. A sprinter. And no, Bo does not know. He's down as well. On his NTS. After such a magical start. And so it's half a second behind the second to Marini in front. Stone in second, though. And it's Bezeki back with Dixon. Over eighth. Uh, especially battling for 17 for a servant. It's all those right in the tail, Stone. Oh, bit wide. Oh, no. Two sideways. There goes the Mark VDS. Stone trying to fight back, though, against the Brit. Uh, as yet, you can still abuse this. He's got his fellow bit, Dixon, battling for seventh. Super from Jake. Of course, he battled with Baldessari. We're 26th, not what the Moto 2 veterans want to be doing. Uh, it's Marine with a 41, 42 4 for Stone. As he got Dada Porter now behind. Let's see onto this third lap, so Stone needs to speed it up a bit. One of the best runs of the back stretch, as well as in 23rd battling with Kinnett. But it's 4 tenths out of the Italian, 2.2 behind Marini. Not sure you have the gap though. Heading into the hairpin to hold on, will he? Looks like he does, as Garzo battling for ninth with Gardner. And yeah, Stone just there to dead up all to you. Trying to fight through the field, back for 20 cents of course. See. 2.3 behind Marini. Don't be using the grass again, Stone. At the final corner, 41 6. It's better, but still way off the pace. And really setting. Uh, it's all Gardner down. Oh, there's Dale Porter alongside Stone, two Moto 3 champions. It's Jorge Martin down. And Dixon into the top five, battling with those. There's all Jorge Navarro down. The stone of 10th ahead of Fernandez, but he's getting the toe from Dada Porter. That might save him. An attack from the Spaniard. There's now Dixon up to full there Fernandez. He's having some race. The former British Superbike front runner. It's 
Silverstone just about holds on. You see Stone keeping up with Dale Porter. So it's a tie in one, two. And then we've got the Canadian third. Spanned off Fernandez behind now. Here's the Brit of Dixon. As you get into the second half of the race, you've got the Malaysian round at the top 10 behind Nakashima now. With a stone, it's still a podium place. There's Balazine 21st battling with Ramirez. The Owens there, Porter. Put to the upper levels once again. Fernandez right in his tail. That's all. Fernandez gives him a bump. Spanned all the head enough. The stone holding on just ahead. With a straight glitz, yeah. You've got Dixon behind, ran out the top five. That's nicely done, or not, it's Bezeki now. Up to fifth. Stone right behind Dada Portia. Marini doesn't know what he's missing out on. And the leaders wrapping in 16, battling with DJ Antonio. We've got Roberts, hooking it. We have a 41 flat, 41 2 from Stone. So they're speeding up now in this chasing pack. Not, a cut, not enough to catch up to the Italian, though. The cousin of Valentino Rossi. Big thing you expect to win on that VR46 bike. It's definitely showing at the moment. Stone goes down the back stretch. Halfs in behind, De La Porta, but three turns of Fernandez, so a bit of a bigger gap for once. Not the best hairpin, no. That's Roberts into the points in 15th. It's all oh, the ridge on a break use there. As now Baseki up to four Vader Fernandez. So straight glitz and losing out in his pursuit of the speed up. He's catching back up to Del Portia, four tenths behind the Italian. And so about to end to the penultimate lap of the race. Number 40.5. No one's going to take the victory away from the Italian. It's just about who's going to fill the podium behind. Now smashing into 14 Veda Roberts. Staying a bit wide there. Nicely onto the back stretch. Two tenths ahead of Bezeki. Three quarters a second behind De La Porta. So we can hear the Italian go alongside Stone now. Stone holds on. It's Fernandez back ahead of Bezeki. Eight tenths to get to De La Porta in front.
It's alright, bike, calm down. Six tenths. The gap in front. Just around four tenths behind. We have a 40.1, the second gap in front. As Stone was the leader, remember, in Kata. Lost it all in the final out, lost five places. Can he hold on this time in Argentina? So a third place, a superb third place. Off the whole of America. Well, that's not gonna help. As all slows down behind. Dropping outside the top ten, so it's Ben Snyder, no! He's got one point to ahead to teleport it. Stone holds that inside. It's about the side up to 18 of Eddie Ramirez. It's why I rear the bike, losing it a lot. Not sure if he got here of the tyres are really just gone on this bike. It's nice, see through. The double left. Just one corner to go. Del Porter's got second. Marini's got the ring. Who's got third though? There's leading to the top ten of Roberts. Or not. So nice hit in the apex. And for the final call, it's his first podium in Moto 2. As Marini, the only run into the 39th wins, come to be at a fellow Italian Dale Porter by 6.6 seconds. As a superb podium for the Italian ahead of Stone with his first podium on the speed and just his third race at Moto 2 level. 1.3 behind the Italian and just two tenths ahead of Buzeki. We've got Nakashima, Dixon in save ahead of Fernandez who dropped down on the final at Garzo. And then we've got also the Indonesian in ninth. And then Roberts rounds out the top ten ahead of Kanet, Luti, Del Tuji, Gian Antonio Iyoyo. Perfectly said. Then Corsi on the end for Augusto, 14 ahead of Bastianini. Baldassai misses out on points, so does Ben Snyder, Ramirez, Bellica from the front row. Raffin in 20th as well. He's got Chantra in 25th and quite a few retirements. Lowe's, Gardner, Martin, Navarro, Sharotta and Verge. So in the championship, Marini leads by four points ahead of Berzecki. And then we've got Gardner down to third. Then Jorge, Navarro in fourth. Martin in fifth. Then Fernandez stone up a place to seventh. As he's four points ahead of the biggest winner. Della Porto up 12 places to eighth. Ahead of DJ Antonio and Nakashima. Dixon up 10 places as well to 12. Up 9. Zandi. As down 6 is Shirota and Verge. As he got 25 riders and now scored points out of 31. But on the team's championship, Sky Racing Team VR46 definitely the team to beat at the moment. As they're 41 points ahead of speed up. And then we've got Red Bull IO in third ahead of Mark VDS. And we've got Sag in fifth. And in the Atala Trails trans team up three places to sit the biggest winning of constructors as OK Team Moto 2 in seventh, ten points ahead of Flexport HP 40, American Racing down to ninth, and Grassini up down four as are well, the biggest losers to tenth in the team championship. Petunius Sprinter up to eleventh, down to thirteenth is NTS. Upper places Honda Team Asia and Gunetta down to fifteen. MV Augustin sixteen. As every team has scored a point. While he was hoping for a win today, third place is still a good result when you're up against riders of this calibre. So great job from Stone in qualifying and in the race as well to back it up. I know he didn't quite have the race pace but still a podium on this is third weekend we'll definitely take that. He is secure. The reputation's gone up again. Should not have gone down in Qatar still. Not fuming at all. As uh, so you get the race credits so we'll be able to pay our team for once. 
And for research data, perfect in distance analysis. All right, in quick lap sim, we got the good lap. And in racing, we got the excellent as we crashed on the final lap, did stone into that second left hander. Don't know how, he just lost the front. As uh, lots of research for the engine, for the frame, and for the electronics. As uh, all. What's this? Oh, this means the Moto, Moto GP team's interested again. The desperation has kicked in again. And everyone is interested in Moto 2. And the new teams as well. So, My World Apriya and KTM Hertz as well. New candidates. Uh, we've got Annie Nelson. That uh, just means better negotiation, lose some credits. Probably won't have you. You, you can go. Same for you, Matt O'Neill, finding opportunities for credits. Not sure about you, Esther Vanderberg, because it's still going to cost a lot to hire you. That's the only problem. As we've got Thomas Kramer. Leaves a sight in engine and frame, but gains a bit on electronics. What's that? Signing bonus, annual salary, monthly salary. I think we stick with Nakanishi san for the time being. So looking at the VEM, can we do anything for the engine now? Not really. We can't do anything for the engine. God damn it. So we'll just wait for those to develop then. As we're further the way through the year already. And next up is the Grand Prix, my Red Bull T Espana around the Circuito. Jerez and going to as who's this? Say he's a del no, don't even bother, mate. Why are you need to put a poster up? Don't allow this man on this premises. As we've got a week remaining on the frame, two weeks for electronics. God damn it. So next time we'll be visiting Spain for the first time this season. Can Stone back up the podium with maybe even better next time out? Sound watching, we'll find out then.